heartbreaking beyond belief. Matthew McLucky's death has left a huge hole in his family, devastating his parents and younger brother, who are struggling to cope with their terrible loss. That's the P plate from his car. It's it been hit so hard it came off the car. Tom McClucky says one of his favourite memories is taking his two-year-old son for breakfast while his mother slept just after they moved to Australia from Scotland. He was just this beautiful, happy little boy. That will always stay with me. I'll always think of that first day in Australia together because he's beautiful and I'm going to miss him so much. He says he didn't realise Matthew hadn't come home until the next morning. I noticed his dinner that was in the fridge that he'd come home from work and here it was still there. The scene of the crash which left Matthew McClucky dead and the woman driving the other car with life-threatening injuries shocked even seasoned traffic officers. The tragedy has left the family in turmoil, their pain heightened by the revelation street racers may have been involved. There's, you know, if you want to wrap your car around a tree and kill yourself, great. Um, deliberately driving up the wrong side of a road at those kind of speeds, um, you're not giving the other person a choice. You know. Police are still hunting for a third car which fled the scene. Tom McGlucky has urged those involved to take responsibility and hand themselves in so his family can find some peace. Police say the woman from the other car remains gravely injured in hospital. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.